Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start the video. I'm sorry, I may have had to start over. All right, so I'm using a cup of Mahatma Jasmine Brown Rice. And here's my cup of rice. I'm actually using the cup that comes with the Instant Pot. And here's my Instant Pot, which is off now. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on the saute button. Okay, and I'm going to uh, pause it for a moment so I can go ahead and put some oil in it. And I will go ahead and be right back. As you heard it beep, so it's turning on. One moment. Okay, um, I am going to pour just a little bit of oil. Not too much. Well, maybe a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And we're going to wait for it to heat up a little bit. So once it gets on hot, I will be back. All right. So the antipod is now saying hot, as you can see. And it's at normal, so I'm not touching anything anymore. Or at least right now. So, um, you know, I made brown rice and it would come out uh, cut or watery. So I just had to play around with it. So I'm going to pour the cup of rice in, and I'm going to stir until it's a little bit fried. It may pop a little bit. It's going, as you can see, I'm stirring it. So when I see that it's um, fried, I will be back. Okay, so here we go. The rice is pretty much fried up. There may be some that looks like quiet, but it's just all brown. So at this point, now that it's fried, I still need to work on the liquid and the seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the off key so my thing won't burst. <laughs> okay, so the answer part is now off. So what I'm going to do, I kind of cheat a little bit. Okay, so I measured a quarter cup of water out of this same measuring cup, and I poured it in here, so it's going to be a quarter cup. And I'm going to add another cup of water. Now I'm going to start up, make sure it's covered. You don't need too much water, so just a cup and a quarter should do it. So, I'm going to take some, my, okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> Did the first time I make a video. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of nor tomate. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, there we go. Sorry guys. Okay, so here's some nor. Give me one second. I'm going to take it. A little bit on, not too much because I don't like it too salty. Make it put as much as you want. Okay, and this is what I'm using. North tomato uh, bouillon, chicken flavor. And I'm so sorry, I normally use chicken broth, but apparently I ran out. So I'm going to go ahead and add the salsa. Okay, so as I mentioned, I use. Um, Cardes salsa casera, and I got this at HEB. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pause it, maybe. But I'm gonna go ahead and put two uh, teaspoons of this, and I'll see if I need more. But again, it's up to you how much you want to add. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and stir it up. So, with brown rice, for some reason, it kind of floats to the top when it's fried. So I'm a little bit concerned, so I'm going to add just a little bit more water. Not too much water. So I'm only getting like just that much now. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, so there we go. Next. Oh my, I almost dropped my door. Okay, so as you can see, it's a bright orange. So what I'm going to do now it around. I think I may need a little bit more salsa, so I'll be putting a little bit more in. Now that good, it's nice and thick and chunky. So I'm 
so it's kind of my cheat there. I don't add a lot of stuff. My mom adds a lot of comino, but I personally do not like it. I prefer just having basic seasoning. Okay, so there we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do is to make sure it's good there. And there should be enough water, even though it doesn't look like it. We'll see the results at the end. So, here's the lid. It's already on the seal. I'll make sure it's there. Okay, so here we go. So now, this is the tricky part. Yeah. All right, so you're going to hit, if yours is pressure cook, then hit pressure. But since I don't have that, I click on the menu button. And since the last time I used it was rice, was set at 22 minutes. And I'm just going to um, let it start. So it's going to beep a little bit. All right. And then it's going to kind of pressure. It's going to count down to 22 minutes. And then I'm going to set a new video because I don't want to pause this for 45 minutes. So I'm going to do a send me 22 minutes. And then count down. It's going to natural release. I normally do about 9 to 10 minutes. But if you want to do a little bit less, that's up to you. Um, then I'm going to come back and release this to whatever, ever, whatever steam is left. And then I'll do a final video when I open the Instant Pot. And to show you my perfect Spanish rice. And this is brown rice. Thank you. Hey, welcome back. Um, here I am. It is now at 11 minutes, and I'm going to, ooh, that was hot. Okay, so as you can see, there's no steam coming out, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, and hope for the best, <laughs> so it better have come out right. Okay, so now that I know that all the steam is released, you can see that it allowed me to open it with no problem whatsoever. And always do it facing away from you so you don't get steam in your face. All right, so here we go. And oh my goodness gracious. So you see, you don't need much water. Oh, it's starting to steam up there. Okay, so you can see it is cooked. And I'm just going to go ahead and scoop it up. And there you go. It is just right and ready to eat. And I will be posting a picture of this tacos tonight. All right. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that when you make it, it will come out just like this. And of course, I mean, like I said, you can use any seasoning that you want. Now, if you just want regular steamed brown rice, the only tip I can tell you is don't fry the rice. Just go ahead and um, add the liquid, the same, a little bit of a quarter and, I mean, a cup and a quarter of water or chicken broth. Maybe a little bit more if you want, just to be on the safe side. Add the cup of rice. And what I, some, what I heard is that if you hit the saute, but let it simmer a little bit. And then close the lid. Same thing, 22 minutes, 10 minute natural release. And you will have the perfect brown steamed rice. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed it. It was my pleasure um, posting my first video. And if you have any questions, dear, feel free to message. All right, thank you. Have a good night.